All right, Phenom, you asked me to review a Nash match. Um, I'm picking one that I've seen recently that you lost, and this is a matchup that you should rarely, if ever, be losing. So we can probably pick out a lot of mistakes here and a lot of learning opportunities. So we'll look at this one. All right, Ultra Platinum Zangief. Let's see what, what went wrong in this one. We'll just stick with this match for now. My iron body is invincible. Round one. I might be Fight. pausing a lot, just letting you know. So you advance right off the bat. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, no big deal, but... You gotta remember, as Nash, especially in this matchup, you're in a position to where you can pretty much counter any of their... anything they have incoming. When you are too aggressive, you're just giving them opportunity. That's okay in this instance. You probably expected them to walk forward or something. But just be aware. Be aware of just even just the matchup. From the matchup perspective, the situation you're in. You're Nash. You can counter any one of his approaches very easily. And he has a hard time getting around what you do. All right. See... Why close the gap here? Don't give him opportunity. Even this is fine. I mean, you get you, you get your pressure going for sure, but you still present too much opportunity. Just hang back here. Let him hang himself. Don't give up too much space and back yourself into the corner. Okay, good. Anti air those. Anti air those, man. You can't let him get away with that. That should have been an immediate down medium punch. As in this matchup, it's against Zangief, you've got to expect them to jump at some point. They Zangief players almost have to jump and take that risk in this matchup. And as Nash having the matchup advantage, you need to be aware of that and give it to him, man. G give him that anti-air. That was really risky, man. Like, it looked like he went for ARSPD there. Yeah. I'm really surprised that worked. I'm surprised you didn't get caught out of it. It just... You kind of got lucky there. So count your blessings. Keep the space. Okay. You jump. That's fine. Keep the space. Anti-air those, man. You got enough time. You're too scared. You're pushing yourself into the corner now. You have a real bad habit of that. Got to anti-air those. You've got time. Yeah, you had plenty of time, man. Careful with that shit, dude. See, you're just taking too many risks, man. You, there was no need to sweep there. It works. That's fine. But you're just... If they had blocked that sweep, guess what? You're fucked. You get hit, you're in Zangief's game now, where you have to guess on wake up. And the corner position was just really bad in your, like, not in your favor at all. Don't do that shit, man. Don't do shit like that. Why would you do that here? You're really lucky here, for real. Like, you're really lucky here. All right, good combo, though. You're, you're, you're pushing your luck, man. You're pushing your luck. This is the only position Zangief wins. Ooh. You get really aggressive for no reason. You gotta be a lot more patient. You're not patient enough. You're letting them walk you down. You're not letting them stop. You're not stopping them. You're not giving them anything to think about. Clip him coming in. You just sacrificed all your space. You gotta hold your ground at some point, man. You're not you're not comfortable, I can tell. You're not comfortable holding your ground. That's why you're either turtle up and back backtrack a lot, or you just go ham and you go in. You're not comfortable standing your ground, planting your feet and saying, I'm making a decision. You're gonna walk forward into this button. You're gonna jump into this button. You know? You gotta have more confidence here. All right, good jump, but you have a bad habit of that anyways. He doesn't know, so... But this is... Yeah, that could get you killed. Like, if you were playing Itazan, just for example, 
I guarantee you anything right here, he taps you, jumps up, EX, uh, SPDs you. Guarantee it. Just because of how you're presenting your play, you're very d panicked in your appro both your approach and your defense. Everything you do is really panicked and desperate. And a good Zangief player will sniff that out because that's when they get opportunity. You got to keep your composure. But this Zangief's kind of on autopilot himself, so... You got out there. Could you have completed a combo there? Would stay, doesn't stay in medium punch connect from that? Hmm. He should have he should have lariated there. That was an easy lariat. But you lucked out. That's okay. I mean, luck is part of the game. Like them fucking up can be just as much of a factor of you winning as you you making the right decision. So that's fair. All right. Good. Make him think about it. Good. All right. You got too predictable there. That was good on them. Made a good decision there. Hmm. You just why do you jump on wake up so much? You that's a really, 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 really awful habit. But he hasn't this Zangief, you're lucky. Because this Zangief hasn't either isn't paying attention that much, or he just hasn't noticed how panicked you are on the defense. You gotta be careful of those. He's making the right decision right now. Okay, see, he headbutts two fireballs. At that point, that's when you want to follow up with something like a moonsault, or just keep keep your space here, man. Keep keep him guessing. Keep building meter. Well, you're already fully socked. Super is ass. Something, you know. Don't just dash in. Then you get clipped there. No, too late. Okay. Yep. What got you hit there? What were you trying to do there, Phenom? Just down medium punch him, man. It's not complicated. That free down medium punch. You overcomplicate it. You try to do air grabs. You try to do the goofiest shit. If you just keep it simple and compact. And beat them with the basics, man. That's all it takes. Yep. You're just too panicked. You're too panicked and you look through the big swings too much, dude. It's not about that, especially as Nash. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to settle for a lot of little shit. Just whittle away at him. What is your best armor breaking move here? I'm not, I'm not sure with Nash, but do that. Don't do shit like this. Throw fireballs into him. Make him absorb it. Something. Like, that could have turned really bad for you, real quick. Alright, don't give up too much space. There you go, don't be careful with shit like that. Don't serve yourself up, just just position yourself. You can use, you don't have to always dash with Nash. I know his walk speed's trash, but just walk forward a little bit. You'd be surprised that little bit baits the motherfucker into jumping, or throwing a button, or something. You gotta utilize every tool to your advantage. Including his walk speed. Just, yeah, don't jump there. Walk forward a little bit. All right, you're getting yourself space again. Good job. Good spacing on that. I'm going to be pausing a lot here. 
All right, trade. Down medium. That's all it takes. Just down medium here. Then it wouldn't have traded. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hang yourself here. You're waking. You're jumping up. You're scared, man. That was it. You killed yourself. You kill yourself, man. You're too scared. Your whole entire gameplay approach is just too based in fear, man. You're not. You don't hold your ground. You're not sure what to do in neutral. So. You, even your approach is really like panicked and you're swinging you gotta swing and get the big hits or your defensive approach doesn't have layers enough layers to it you just kind of back yourself into the corner and then you want to explode out with something big like you're gonna have to settle for small stuff but that's it for now man all right